Hey folks, this is Rick, 1989 Trans Am GTA. Just want to give you an idea of what I've done, uh, how I've configured my uh, car here to have cooler engine operating temperatures. All right, and the whole purpose of doing this, you know, uh, better performance, better fuel economy, better combustion, uh, just a cooler operating engine. So uh, I've got to tell you about the factory setup first. The factory setup, uh, well, this radiator right here is not a factory radiator, but it is a factory equivalent. It's not a beefed up uh, radiator. Uh, but the factory configuration has the radiator cooling three elements. It's got it cooling the engine oil, the uh, coolant that's running through the engine, cooling the engine, and then it has the transmission cooling lines that uh, attach back here on this side of the radiator that run back to the transmission. So those, those, those uh, demands are on the radiator. Uh, and just in my opinion, it's, it's just a little bit too much to ask for that radiator to, to have to contend with. So uh, one of the first things I did was I removed the, tr the transmission cooling lines that ran over here to this side of the, to the, ra to this side of the radiator. All right, so I replaced those lines with some braided steel lines uh, that, that run up here to the front. Okay, uh, there's a transmission cooler that I had mounted in here, and you'll see in that hole right there, you'll see the, uh, the fan, the electric fan that's in there. All right, so that's an independent cooler just for the transmission. So I took that demand away from the radiator um, so it didn't have to you know, worry about cooling that stuff as well. Uh, the next thing I did was the throttle body bypass. All right, that was really easy to do. Just ran the, the original configuration had, or the factory configuration had this valve here with a line that ran over here. Okay, so I rerouted that line right down to the uh, intake there by the uh, temperature sensor because the factory configuration had engine coolant running through the throttle body, and uh, which significantly increased the temperature on the top. Uh, plenum here on the runners and it also uh, had an impact on heating the air that's inside the plenum going to the engine uh, for combustion so I didn't want that to be that way so I did the throttle body bypass all right and again that 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 helped out a lot as well as the transmission cooler uh, the last thing I did here was um, I used the factory wiring uh, for for my fans but, but I basically just reconfigured them a little bit. The uh, factory fans, there's two of them back here behind the radiator. And my objective was I wanted these two fans to run constantly. All right, but I didn't want to alter the factory wiring uh, too much. You'll see here, there's a gray relay right there. There's also another relay that looks just like it right below it. It's underneath the panel, you can't see it. But the two relays control the fans. All right, these two fans that are behind the radiator, uh, kind of right in there. You can kind of see them a little bit. All right, this relay right here uh, has a green and white wire, and you'll notice that it runs up over here. And I have this configured to where it's grounded to the to the support right here. All right, but this green and white wire in its factory format runs up to the computer, and at certain times the computer will send a ground to this circuit. All right, which uh, powers the well helps power the fans that are behind the radiator or the one fan that's behind the radiator all right the other relay below this that operates the other fan or the alternate fan uh, has a gray wire on it all right so uh, that gray wire I did just like I did with this green and white wire I gave it an independent ground and the whole purpose of doing this is I didn't want the computer to control my fans anymore I wanted my fans to run all the time all right, when the keys are on or the, the car is running, both of the fans are operating. And again, with that happening, it's, it's allowing for uh, cooling oper cooler operations. Okay? Uh, you'll notice down here that there's a, gray, uh, a brown wire with a red wire spliced into it. That I have, uh, that's a power wire that runs up and powers the transmission cooler that I just showed you earlier. All right, the fan that's on the back of it. All right, so I just spliced into that factory wire, and that brown wire, all it is is a, is a power wire when the key is turned on. All right, so I've got three fans running uh, off two relays that are in the factory format except for those three wires. Okay, so the uh, transmission cooler, the throttle body bypass, 
and then the uh, reconfiguring those those wires I just showed you down there on those relays uh, which keeps the fans running all the time has uh, significantly reduced engine operating temperatures for my border stroke 383 uh, engine so uh, that's pretty much it thanks for watching